Day day. Not crazy out there again. So I want to talk about Messiah and Jesus. Because there's a difference. Yahshua or Yeshua or whatever. It's many names, okay? So the difference between the Messiah, the true Messiah of the one and only true living God, the most high Yah, Yah. And Jesus comes from different cultures. <laughs> Jesus is Latin and it's a European false god. They show you the picture for a reason, but we still say, oh, they made it up. No, that's really Jesus. The story is twisted and different. And that ain't it. That's religion. Yeah, from the European culture. But the Messiah is a title. It means salvation, a savior, a leader. Okay? That is the way. The true Messiah. The one and only true Messiah is the one who leads the people to salvation from their sin. No, oh, I hate that word. From their mistakes. To deliver them to love, leading them to the only one who truly saves and makes it rain. The true Messiah, the true, which is a prophet. The one and only who came to die. Because of, that's a whole different story. The one that died. The one that you could call on. That's the one that comes from the most high. The one that frees you from what was done, the curses in your life. That person became cursed for the rest of the world. They took on the sins or mistakes. They lived it out for the rest of the world to have an opportunity to know who the Most High Yah is and to know what love is. The true prophet, Messiah, the one that we may wait for to come back again. He is the one that will lead the indigenous people, the true children, the tribes, the lost tribes. He will put them together and deliver them from what they've been through. The oppression and depression and lead them to reparation and recompense and will tell the truth. The Armageddon. Yeah, that's a true Messiah. But there's been many leaders and messiahs that's been leading us to these moments of the second coming of the one and only true Yudah. The one and only true. Because Yudah. No, it's good. No, for real. Seriously, they've been lying to us. And it's time for us to tell the truth. And he will do that. You see how people cling on to their Bible. A lot of people, they cling on to that. In the New Testament, they read it and nothing in their life changes, but only for the worse, right? The true Messiah, the Most High Yah, who is the ultimate leader of all of us. Seriously, he the one who runs everything. This runs house and he the one. So, he the one that causes the change. The Holy Spirit causes change. It's said, live in a spirit. No more carnal, no no more being carnal minded. Sorry, and living in the flesh, but to live in the spirit. That's where the true Messiah lives. Yeah, that's how you become truly blessed, having that intimate relation, intimate relationship with the Most High causes a change in your life, and it starts from within, and then it manifests without, and then everything else around you starts to change. But you have to go through a process, and it hurts. And it hurts before it gets better because you're undoing all the things that you've done before. You're unlearning everything that you learned that was wrong. And you're facing consequences of your actions, of just being in, out of alignment with yourself, with uh, um, the most high yeah. It's just a process. It's not to punish you. It's just to teach you lessons and to correct you, to train you up. You're not being punished when you're going through these things. You're just dealing with things that... You have to because you don't listen to the spirit, the living spirit, the one that's soft and sweet, that's telling you good things for your goodness. Even videos like mine, that's just warnings or something. You know, when people are warning you, it's not to hurt you. Love corrects you and love warns you of danger ahead. It doesn't, that's not, devil will keep you wrong, staring you in the wrong 
enemy, the true evil one, is not going to warn you of anything. You're just going to get hit. You're going to walk into a trap. You're going to be like, damn, you're going to be set up for real. But when somebody's telling you, hey, there's a bus coming, you're going to get hit. Watch out, look both ways. It's not because they taunting you. It's not because they haunting you. It's not because they pranking you. They really trying to tell you because it's, that's a loving thing to do, to warn you of the, the danger of head. That's a true prophet of the most high living, Yah. A true prophet warns you the true news of your life. Warns you of what's really going to come if you don't listen and turn around and do the right thing. Surrender your pride and listen to the right spirit because that spirit is right and that's the one that's going to save your life. The true Messiah. the most. But folks who are religious that are idolizing the Bible and Jesus, their Jesus, they don't really change for real. They just, for the worst they do, they become judgmental. They don't ever ask God nothing. They see videos, see videos like me. They see my tattoos. They see my nose rings. They see whatever. And they're like, yeah, uh -uh. she devil. She a rebel. She this, that, 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 that. She evil. She a demon. Because she's swearing. But they never say, oh, let me go pray and ask about this woman. And listen and obey what that spirit says, the right one. They don't test the spirits of the true living most high. Yeah, yeah. They don't test it. They don't understand who he is, who love is, or what the message is. They look at the messenger and say, nah. But they don't really pay attention to the message. That's that religion. That's that religious spirit. And it gotta go. Blech.